Well, I, I'm going to go back to a story, and the story is probably, um, they have similar stories across culture. So anyway, um, this is a Los Angeles story. So Divinity said, hello, heaven on earth, now you, 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 get, you, you, get, you get this experience. Go, Adam goes, yeah. He goes, yeah, wow, incredible. And so Divinity then says, now you see that tree over there? That's the tree of knowledge. I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat that stuff. You see that apple? I wouldn't eat it because you don't need it. You're already perfect. Well, maybe zillions of lifetime, he says to Adam, come on, we got to eat that because I think he's keeping a secret from us. And then along comes the so-called serpent part of the, yeah, yeah. So finally, they eat it. And then Jesus, or oh, not, sorry, I take that back. God comes along and he, in his long robe and you can hear him swishing. And then he says, he goes, there's a difference in vibration in this, this. And Adam says what? What does Adam say? Adam says, she made me do it. She made me do it. And that's the story of women abused, neglected, but she, but she made me do it. And so women end up, for example, with menopause, rage, that's, a, that's rage. That's the kind of stuff that, that can be prevented, but that's, the, that's rage. And menopause is rage? Yep. So I just throw that in, yeah, for good measure. <laughs> rage. Prevented by cleaning? Oh yeah, it could it could be worked on, but it but you know it's better to work on it before than wait till towards the end. All of a sudden, it's like. Oh. You mean the cessation of menses is rage, or the ex the the symptomology? <laughs> of that? It's rage. This this. You're talking about hot flashes and stuff yeah, like that. It's rage. Yes, the yeah, it's rage. Yes. Yeah. Rage. It's, 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 it isn't, quote, natural. It's not a natural state. I can't imagine God would create somebody, and say, create you and say, I'm going to make you suffer. I can't imagine that. So where did it come from? Well, it came from, she made me do it. So we have a lot of, uh, oh, 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 no, oh, no. <laughs> You got more than a lot. <laughs> That's women's rage towards men. What about men's rage towards women? Wow, well, but the, the, see, see now you're going, you're, you're moving in a way. The question I would ask if I were a woman, what's going on in me that I can clean this thing up? As opposed to looking outside and say, why, why did you do that to me? And you should get your act together. Yeah, actually, the uh, sorry, Rick, one see. of the questions that crosses my mind is, why is it that we have that degree of rage? towards each other, yeah, but fellow human beings. But you're speaking data. You can, you're engaged. You're, you're, you're wrapping this up as opposed to you can let it go. I love you. Thank you. Whatever you can. I love you. But we, we have an addiction. The addiction is so, so intense. We grab things. How come? Have you ever read Chekhov, the, the Russian um, short tour? He, that's, that's the theme in all of his stories. How come? Why? Why did they cut down that forest? Why are they doing that? Why? Why is it that we can't get along? Why is it that we we suffer when if we if we were friends, everybody would profit from that? Well, the why is it old data playing, and we're stuck in it. Yes. And if you grab it like the Greeks do, we're gonna we're gonna analyze it. Like I was trained when I got a PhD at the University of Iowa. You're gonna grab it and try to make sense of it. You you, you can't. Eleven million for which you are clueless. And so the idea is Jesus, Moses, all these, all these great sages that come along to hello, let go. <laughs> so have you set aside your analytical processes? No, no, you see I'm still here. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm still here. If I, if I had let that all go, I wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be here either. If you were going to ask you, 
a really rich question. What question would you ask yourself? Who am I? And how would you answer it? I'm an, I am infinitely zero. I'm, I, I'm, I'm an exact copy of, of the source, the infinite. I'm an exact copy. That means I'm perfect in every way. My problem is not me. My problem is the data is me. Are, are you an individuated perfection? What does that mean? Are we all, are we, do we have any individuated aspects? One more time. Did God create us individually? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so God created you and your, diff your rhythm is very different from hers. Your yeah. rhythm is different from the chair. Yeah. Of course. And so even at zero limits, I still have a rhythm that is unique. Absolutely. To this. And you have a rhythm for which then you have a certain purpose for which only you can fulfill. And if you don't fulfill it, then we're all stuck. Yeah. But each of us, like Marvin and me, this chair, we've come, we, we have been given the gift of this lifetime to take ourselves back, what Shakespeare said, to thine own self be true. And who are we? We are like an exact likeness of the divine, which is we're zero infinite. That's what we're nothing. My mother used to say that to me when I used to go surfing and come home late. You're nothing, you're nothing. But and now I'm realizing I'm <laughs> She was right all along. Yeah. 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 That was a good thing, right? I'm always yeah. listen to your mother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was vociferous about that. You're nothing. And, and, and finally, what? I'm 70, and I'm finally going, wow. My mother had that insight, and it took me 70 years to get it. Uh, <laughs> and I, and is this, um, I know that this is a revised version of Ho Ho'oponopono that you work with, and I'm wondering whether or not um, the method that existed, and, and I have a, a small familiarity with the previous version of Ho'oponopono. Tell me what the previous version is. My understanding of it is uh, that uh, a group of people would get together if there were misunderstandings among them, and there would be uh, a person standing in as a facilitator, and it would depend upon more, that More person. like a guard. Oh, okay. <laughs> the guard would ensure it, that, it, that a smooth <laughs> process unfolded <laughs> so that people would come yeah. to some kind of understanding. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, in in some workshops that I've taken that have been about Huna and uh, there's no such thing as Huna. Oh, there isn't. No, that that's uh, made up by some white lady person. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, well, I was wondering if if, if uh, in the previous version, the earlier version of Ho'oponopono, before. Um, Hawaii was infiltrated by foreigners. Um, visited by visited by <laughs> foreigners. Yeah. Um, if if you think that perhaps things were different, uh, then uh, well, if a society evolved that was perhaps more enlightened. Listen, if you you look at you look at across the culture, across all the cultures that we have in this this great village called mankind. Um, you will find only two models, and one model is very rare, and that model is, the model is, you got to go talk to a, a guru to get to talk to the divinity, right? Right. Uh, this one, you can talk directly. You don't need a guru, you don't need a coach, you, you don't need a master, you don't need any of those. That, you don't even need, if I'm angry with him, I don't need him because the anger is in me. Right. So why would I talk? So, the thing I liked about this when I heard about it um, 20 something years ago, I was like, wow, it's just my own stuff and I can go directly to any who can erase it, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the Ho'oponopono that we teach, you're on your own, but you, you got a good coach called God. Yeah. You can talk directly and only that, in, only that force in you can erase. There's no guru, there's no master, there's no pope, there's nobody can erase. Only the divinity in you can do that. So I'm going to talk to the, why should I go to an in-between? A wholesaler. 